and success in our campaign to see the chemical preservative MI removed from cosmetic products. We reported on the growing number of people suffering severe allergic reactions to a variety of wipes, creams and lotions. Following our findings, Johnson & Johnson, Vaseline, Nivea and all these others pledged to remove MI from what they call leave-on skin products. But others like L'Oreal and Boots say they'd keep using the preservative. But the industry's trade body, Cosmetic Europe, has now said that manufacturers shouldn't wait for the law to change and that the use of MI should stop immediately. But here's the thing, this preservative MI isn't just in cosmetics. There's another industry using it. As Louise Holland reports, its products are much harder to avoid. I've come to meet Karen Johnson. Though she looks perfectly healthy today, this is what she looked like last August. Whilst it was happening, she had absolutely no idea of the cause. I woke up one morning uh, with a rash on the lower part of my face and upper part of my chest, um, which progressively got worse over a period of about 10 days. I couldn't breathe one night. My lips were swollen. Um, my eyes could barely open. Um, so much so that my daughters phoned an ambulance and I ended up in A&E. That must have been really scary. It was scary because obviously you don't realise what's going on, you don't understand why. Um, I couldn't think of what was happening to me. Though Karen was allowed to return home later that night, her symptoms persisted. Her dermatologist carried out a series of tests and concluded she'd experienced a severe allergic reaction to methyl isothiazolinone, or MI. But unlike other cases we've seen before, this time her reaction wasn't triggered by cosmetics. The only thing I did any different was I'd been painting my front room. Um, and the symptoms started about two days after I started painting. Her dermatologist suspected that the MI might be included in the paint she'd been using, white and magnolia matte emulsion from B&Q's value range. When Karen emailed B&Q to check, they confirmed that MI is indeed an ingredient of that range of paint. Just like in cosmetics, it's used as a preservative to stop the product going off. And that meant Karen wasn't just reacting while she was painting, she continued to do so even after she'd finished decorating as the paint dried. I was quite upset because obviously you, you go and you buy something that you think is it's just an emulsion paint. All I wanted to do was freshen up a room and I've ended up suffering um, because of this nasty chemical. But now that she's been diagnosed as one of the rapidly increasing number of people with an MI allergy, it should be easy for Karen to avoid other paints that contain it. She just needs to check the tin, right? Wrong. These are the two cans of B&Q paint which her dermatologists think triggered Karen's allergy. And no matter how hard you look, you'll find no mention of MI, nor any other ingredients for that matter, on the tins. Why? Because whilst the law states that cosmetic products must declare all of their ingredients, there are no such rules in the paint industry. Only specific chemicals must be named, and in the case of MI, that only applies when it's at levels of 1,000 parts per million. But according to Dr White, it would never be used at that level in paint, as a much milder concentration would still be effective as a preservative. And he says much smaller levels could still cause an allergic reaction. The absence of labelling is detrimental to consumer safety and health protection because without full ingredient labeling it's impossible for the sensitized uh, individual to avoid exposures. So how widespread is the use of MI in household paint? To find out, Dr White and his colleagues picked paints at random from seven of the biggest selling ranges in Britain. Wix, Homebase, Fired Earth, B&Q, Crown, Laura Ashley and Dulux. Each was sent to have their ingredients analysed at the Laboratory of Environmental Science at Aarhus University in Denmark. And the results are in. 
For the first time, we can reveal that at least half a dozen popular paint brands available up and down the UK do contain MI, even though none of them make this clear on the packaging. All the samples that were tested contain levels of MI that Dr White says could cause problems, apart from the four Dulux paints and one of Laura Ashley's two paints. There's great variation in the concentrations available, but certainly many of them contained MI at levels which are of concern and would certainly have the potential to be harmful to the individual who has allergy to MI. Latest figures state that as many as 1 in 10 people tested for MI are allergic. But could it simply be that paint manufacturers aren't aware of the potential risks? Well, seemingly not. We rang each of the companies posing as customers with an MI allergy and asked if it was safe to use the specific paints that we've tested. And every single one of them told us that we should avoid using their products. So if these companies know that their products contain MI, why on earth are they not putting it on the tin? There is absolutely no reason why the presence of MI in non-cosmetic products, including paints, should not be identified on the ingredient label. It may not be required in European legislation, but that doesn't stop the individual industries, the individual companies from labelling their products. European law is due to change in 2015, and any paint with MI at more than 100 parts per million will have to name it. But Dr. White says concentration levels below that could still cause a reaction. So to really solve the problem, why don't the paint companies do the right thing and follow the lead of the cosmetics industry by stopping using MI altogether? There are perfectly acceptable alternatives to MI and a responsible industry should at this stage, bearing in mind that so many people are now allergic to MI, start removing it completely from their products and moving, moving on to something with a, a better safety profile. Now, all the companies featured say they put the safety of customers first and will comply with current and future guidelines. Wix have told us they'll be introducing clearer labelling on their paints, as have Fired Earth, Crown and Homebase, who, along with Laura Ashley, have promised to investigate alternatives to MI. B&Q say it was sorry to hear of Mrs Johnson's reaction and have already introduced clearer labelling and, like the others, will look into alternative preservatives. However, it says that since Mrs Johnson didn't know about her allergy before buying their paint, labelling wouldn't have helped her.